Hi guys, welcome back. We wanted to create a checklist of five things that couples need to know when they're shopping for a string quartet for their wedding or pretty much any event, but primarily this is gonna go for weddings. Mm -hmm. So they're not in any particular order, but these are just things that we find to be really helpful. The first tip is that remember, a solo instrument means that only one melody is gonna be played. So typically what a lot of people will ask is, can we have a solo violin at our wedding, and then can you please play canon and D when I come down the aisle? <laughs> the answer is gonna be not really, because it's not gonna sound like what you think it's gonna sound. So yeah. I'll play a really quick example. This is canon and D with one violin. <laughs> So canon means two instruments or multiple instruments. So if you're gonna have something like that be requested for your wedding, just remember it. One one person, we can only play one thing at a time. <laughs> and while that's very beautiful, also um, be mindful of the venue and where your wedding is because that could sound very nice in a really intimate setting with a small um, audience, mm -hmm. but in a large a large venue, that's not gonna carry and yeah. it's going to sound really thin and not exactly not what you expect. Right. The second thing we would like you to know is that if you're requesting a custom arrangement, please let us know no later than two months prior before the wedding or event. This gives our arranger or whoever the arranger is um, enough time to gather the music and get it together in time so that we could also take a look at it and familiarize ourselves with the song if we don't already know it. Yeah, this is key. We always listen to the song in advance, we look at it with the music, and then we figure out how to make it our own in a string duo, trio, quartet, whatever. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just be conscious of the time frame. And any group you talk to about having a custom arrangement, there is going to be a small additional charge, but it is so worth it to make yeah. your wedding um, as customized and personalized um, as and possible. to fit your vision. Yeah. <laughs> So another really common question that we get is if we can come to the wedding rehearsal and play out the ceremony. Um, so something that we don't do is we do not do wedding rehearsals. So wedding music is, is pretty typical and we play a lot of it regularly, sometimes two times in a day, we'll play the same set list almost. Um, so just if you would like to hear a recording of your arrangement, for example, we can obviously send that over if you want to hear a brief snippet of what what you're going to walk down the aisle to or anything, you can always ask and we can send those videos, but typically we're not going to come and do a rehearsal for your wedding. So that that pretty much I think is standard across the board. Um, mm -hmm. None of our other colleagues do that either. So just, just be mindful of that whenever you're going to ask for it. Yeah, and we juggle so much other music like gigs and our own personal practicing and technique, um, but wedding music is where we really shine and we have the most fun playing, so you can trust us. Yes, rest assured, it's going to be great. <laughs> If your wedding or event is outdoors, please, please, please have coverage for your musicians, especially if they're stringed instruments, because they are so delicate and it they take a lot of care to uh, maintain the beautiful sound and weather elements can ruin the instrument. So just make sure that if you want us or your string group outside, please have a tent set up. Our violins absolutely cannot get wet. So even if it threatens to rain or a couple drops happen, that's detrimental sometimes to the instruments. So a gazebo, a tent, yeah, exactly what Julia said. We have to be, we have to be covered if we're yeah. gonna be outside. Don't worry about us. <laughs> and then the fifth and final tip that we wanna have you all think about when you're preparing to hire a quartet for your wedding or event um, is to prepare us with some of the basic answers that we need to know. So just right off the bat, let us know how many bridesmaids or how many people are going to be processing down the aisle. Um, if it's a religious ceremony or not, if you're going to need music during your ceremony. These are questions that we could go back and forth in emails or texts about over weeks, but if you kind of just give us a, a kind of like a checklist or brief summary of what the ceremony is going to be like, it can save us a lot of time um, to streamline our communication. So if you leave your musical trust in us, we will not disappoint. Um, we do this for a living and we love being a part of each brand new couple's special day. Um, it's a new experience for us each time. So take these tips and tricks and share them with anyone who might be shopping for a string ensemble for their wedding or event. 
Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below and have a great day. Yay. <laughs> yes. Cut. <laughs> We're done. Wow. Things for couples to keep in mind when they're shopping for... Can you start again? Sorry. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I was going to get a drink. We've accumulated. <laughs> for a bruising. Okay.